Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can redirect any page URL on your WordPress website from one to the other using one simple plugin and using the 301 redirect method. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So first of all, we would want to install the 301 redirect plugin. So head over to your plugins and add new and then search for redirect 301. I'm usually using this plugin and it has over 2 million active installations plus 653 reviews. So head over, install it, and then activate. Once it is activated, you want to hit refresh, then head over to tools, and then it will be here under redirection. Head over there, head over start setup. I'll usually check all of the checkboxes and then I'll hit continue. You'll test the rest API and as you're good to go, hit the finish setup button. It will do its thing, then hit continue. We're ready to begin. Now, the setup here is quite simple. As you can see here, we have all the URLs that have been redirected from here and then we have a simple interface the source url where the url that you want to change from and then we have the query parameter exact match in any order we have ignore all parameters we have ignore and pass parameters to the target so here under the target url this will be the new url of the page that you want to set up for and then we have the group under redirections we have modified posts i'll keep here everything as it is and for that example i want to demonstrate on a live product that i have here on my shop so i'll head over to products and then i'll head over to this first one hat and then we can see the url by view and we can see here we have product we have hat dash two let's say i want to change that url from hat to classic hat so head over back and then we'll want to edit the product what we want to do is first of all change the name of the hat so let's do classic oops classic hat and we want to change the url over here so click edit and classic dash hat click OK. It will be here updated. Now, here you want to also click update. But now we have a problem. We've updated this URL, even though it will work if we'll open it in a new tab. We have classic hat, but watch what happen if I'll change the URL and just erase the classic to dash two. Now we've just seen that the page just refreshed, even though it looks good. Now, in terms of Google search, it's not good because when somebody is searching for a product, let's say this product has been indexed in the Google search and the URL has has been also indexed, it will not necessarily redirect the person to this exact product with the updated URL. So what you want to do is head over to edit product, then head over to your tools, head over to redirection. And over here, what you want to do is paste the source URL, just copy what we have here, then head over back to redirection, paste your new URL under the target URL, and then head over to source URL and then paste your URL. Then we'll want to modify it. Now we will raise the classic and then we'll add here dash two. This is a simple example, but when we have other URLs, which are more complicated, you want to save them before you change them. And once that is done, you want to just click the add redirect button. And then that will add it to this table. And then we'll see here the old URL and the new URL. Then we have the check redirect and we'll be able to see that it's checking. And now it's from 301 to two page was loaded. And then we'll see that it's good. So if we're looking in terms of search engine optimization, this is a good practice because you don't want to leave your your users in a 404 page and just don't forget that Google also don't like it. So just bear that in mind. And yeah, that's basically how you do it and how you redirect your URLs on your website simply with one simple plugin. Even though there are other plugins that are including it, this one is for free and you can use it as many times as you want. And that's basically it for this video. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, I'll be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any tutorials that I post on WordPress, Elementor and WooCommerce. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.